Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Welcome back to Tag Time Tuesday. I'm pretty sure we're on number 11 and I'm going to be making a tag flip page for a recipe book. I'm in a recipe book swap with a friend of mine, Misha, at Scraps and Things 1. Hi Misha! And the front cover on the inside here, I'm going to be adding a tag flip page so that she can get extra recipes out of it. So let me put this aside for now. I don't want to show the whole book because that will kind of be a little spoiler alert. But Okay, first thing you're going to need is three tags. Okay, three of these tags. The tag, like the craft card stock tag part, is going to measure five and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, you need three of those. Then your mats that you're going to put on top, which are your recipe cards or your photo mats, whatever, you know, kind of mats that you're creating, they measure four and a half by three. Okay? Do not mat your tags yet. I'll show you how to put it all together in a second. Um, and then you're going to need one tag that measures four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then your mat that you put on top of it is going to measure four and five eighths by three. Okay? And you only need one mat because the back part of this tag here is going to be adhered to the page. Okay? So if you want to start off with that four and three quarter inch, you can mat your tag. And then you're going to take one of your other tags that measure five and a quarter by three and a quarter. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to score those three tags that measure five and a quarter by three and a quarter at the half inch mark on the bottom. Okay? And then you're going to score it and fold, fold your score lines and then mat your tag in the front here. You're going to take the four and three quarter tag and adhere it to that flap. Okay? I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put this flap here underneath and try and line it up. And just go up against the score line. Don't go on the score line because you want it to be able to fold over. Okay? So this is your bottom mat tag. Your other tag, your score line went behind it, your score flap. Then you have it matted here, and then you have the front of the tag, okay? Now before you mat this, I'm going to mat it with this blue recipe card, but before I do that, I want to add my other tag. So here's my score line at the half inch. I'm going to add adhesive here, fold this over. And I'm going to add it to the top of this one. Okay? So you're going to fold it this way and add adhesive. You want to fold it and line it up really well and add it to the top. So it still looks like you only have one tag. But you, it's a flip book. Okay? I'm going to use my bone folder to really, excuse my arm, sorry guys, to really make sure that's down. Okay? And now I'm going to mat this side. So that basically covers up this flap here. You're not going to really notice that flap. Let me add adhesive to the back. Line it up. Oop, sorry about my camera, guys. <laughs> okay, so we have the mat that we started with. We went underneath with the first piece, as you can see here, underneath the flap. And then we added, well, that was this piece, and then on top of that, we added this one. Now, before I mat this piece with the red. I'm going to do the same exact thing with my last tag, which I already have matted. 
going to fold this piece over. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to open it up and really press that down real well. And then I'm going to mat this one. I started making a rib enclosure for it, which I'll show you how to add to your tag before you actually mat it to your paper or your page. I make these a lot in um, my photo albums because it just adds more real estate to it where you can get more photos on one page. Um, but this is great for the recipes too because she can start writing her recipe here and then flip it over and finish the ingredients on the back. Same thing here, start a recipe here. Unless she writes really tiny, I need two cards or the back of one card. So then she can continue it here. And then the same thing here and here and maybe just write some comments about the recipes there or like I said, if she writes small, she can add one here. But this way it gives her three more, three to actually one, two, seven more recipes, you know, depending on how small she writes. Okay, so this is the back of our page. We're going to be, our back of our tag that we're going to be adding to the book. Okay, let me adjust my camera here a little bit. You guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to probably add it maybe right about here, and then I'm going to put extra recipes because we have certain pages we had to do certain things like this page here is my starters page um, or appetizers and then this page is going to be soups okay I don't want to show the whole book because <laughs> I'm not done with it yet but so I'm going to add this here but before I do this is my ribbon closure so all I did was add a piece of velcro to the back and I have it stuck together so I have the fuzzy side already adhered to the ribbon and then this side here is going to be adhered to um, my tag. But I keep them together so that I can line them up really well. And then I just glued on these cute little oven mittens. So I want to add that to the front, but I want to leave enough room to glue this piece of ribbon to the back, okay? So I'm going to measure, I don't want it too tight because I want to leave room, like I said, for a little bit of give. I'll probably do that right there. Okay, I use Fabri-Tac. I love this adhesive. It's worked really well for me. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. I mean, it really, really holds well. I added some of that to the back of this ribbon. Okay, like I said, this is going to be my closure. So I'm going to peel the backing off of this Velcro piece, which is not easy. Okay. I'm going to stick that on the front. I want those to be right about here. And then I'm going to flip this ribbon piece around and glue that down in the back. Okay, I'm not going to pull on this yet because I want it to sit, but you'll, you'll see in the end. So now I'm probably going to add a little bit more Fabri-Tac to the back of this ribbon because I really want it to stick down well when I adhere my page to the paper. And I'm going to be using quick dry adhesive from Scotch for the back. You can use um, any kind of adhesive you want. I just want to make sure this bottom piece is really, really glued down well because it's an interactive page. 
she's going to be pulling on it a lot. So I want to make sure it stays nice for her. And kind of line that up. And glue it down. Okay. Let me open my ribbon closure here. You see there's a piece of Velcro here on the recipe card. And then this will keep it closed. These are her flip pages. And I just want to use my bone folder in here to really make sure I have this down and secured really well. Okay, and then she's going to get some extra recipe space out of that. And then just that will keep the tag page closed. Okay, so you can see there, and then there's the Velcro piece if you couldn't see that closer up. And it's behind our tag here, so it's not going to show. And then she can just close it back up. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, hopefully that inspired you to make some flip pages for your mini albums in a tag style. And thank you guys so much for watching. You take care. Have a great day.